Welcome back to the ITU headquarters here in Geneva, which is of course hosting this three-day AI for Good Global Summit. And here on the second day, I'm pleased to be joined now, Professor from the Netherlands, Virginia Dignam, Dr. Dignam, and uh, you gave a speech earlier to delegates talking about the ethics, I think, of AI. Yes, uh, on the speech this morning I was focusing on the privacy and security issues, but ethics in general is my topic of research and work. And what was your main message? Uh, my main message is that uh, whereas we should be very uh, aware of risks in privacy and security, we shouldn't be uh, led by those risks and uh, towards it, uh, uh, making it more difficult for us to use AI for the good of uh, uh, mankind. And um, how do you do that? I mean, it means making sharing access to data? Yes, my main issue here is that, is that of responsibility. So uh, not only we should make sure that our systems are developed responsibly, in the sense that we take responsibility and we are very aware of uh, how we are developing those systems. But in the other end, we also should ensure that the systems are built within responsibility at the core of their algorithm. So we should somehow take a different approach to algorithmic uh, development in a sense that we can make those algorithms more transparent and more accountable for what they do. Do you need regulation for this? Yes, I think so. I think in, the, in two ways. We need regulation in order to uh, make sure that uh, uh, the broad public and the broad society are aware and involved in uh, what is that we want or not want to, uh, to achieve with AI. And on the other hand, as an AI researcher myself, I think that regulations will also provide the incentives to design better algorithms which are not the ones we have now, which are uh, black boxes, basically. Now, some people have said in the, in the panels over the last couple of days that defense industry, for example, has free reign, really, and there needs to be international regulation, and there isn't at the moment. Definitely. I think that the regulations are very important to the, indicate what do we want the, uh, in, uh, in uh, AI, uh, autonomous weapons, and uh, all that discourse. What, is, what are the limits? What are the, the frame of which development should be taken place? And we should take uh, firm uh, steps and firm statements as a society of this far and no further. And but who enforces it? Yes, that's the one of the issues. So well, once we make regulations, then we have to make sure that we also develop the bodies and the, the regulators and the controllers of those regulations. I think that in this case, it's uh, uh, definitely something for an international body like the United Nations or one of the uh, United Nations related uh, uh, but we're, we're some time away from that, though, in years or decades? Uh, I don't know. I think if we wait for decades, then the developments are there, done before the regulation, and then you cannot put the genie back in the box. Mm. Just finally, what are you hoping from at the end of these three days? I'm hoping for a global awareness of the possibilities of AI, which I do be believe that... Uh, far more uh, surpass the risks that we might have with AI, but I also hope definitely that we are aware of our own responsibility as society, as developers and as users of how are we going to uh, develop further the potential that AI can bring us. Okay, thanks very much Virginia. So Thank that's you. Dr. Dignam, professor at Delft University in the Netherlands, talking to us about regulation, about ethics, uh, all those key issues that we're all talking about and discussing here over the, ne over the last three days. Thank you again. Thank you.